what is that? My daughter hath brought her Chevy for me to work on again. So, uh, remember this box I put in a while back? Oh, yeah. To bring on her fans because the controller doesn't always bring on the fan. There's something wrong. This, I think these little relay modules start getting shitty after a while. Gosh, it's actually been so long now. I'm not remember what I did. But basically, the, I think I just have the... Uh, temperature sensor tapped into yep right here this control wire it's tapped into our temperature controller sensor and it reaches a threshold this output goes over and brings on her relays so but the problem now is the fans are actually working it comes on with temperature and it comes on whenever it turns the ac on which i think i have it yeah this wire here the diode in it go as active when the uh, ac can clutch is powered here brings it on right away or with temperature but the thing is i think the problem now is she has a check engine light and i think the code i'll have to scan it again it's for the fault for the coolant relay circuit or something probably because i have taken these let's see if i can show you on the other one here but basically these relays I bent up the, the 12 volt coil and I have it going from uh, here to, I believe, or, or no, it's hot and then I'm grounding it with transistors. That's what it is. But I'm running the coils from my box. So, I, okay. That's right, it is a microprocessor. I couldn't remember what I've had in there. I had to disconnect this beautiful circuit on your fucking Chevy. Man, this Chevy sounds healthy. Not. All right, well, the fan's coming on with the AC with my controller hooked back up external. The factory circuit with the factory relays hooked back up how they're supposed to be is not bringing on the fan. Let me turn off her AC so that fan stops. I can narrate. Let's see here. Turn that off. All right. All right, so I'm hoping that having these coils back into the circuit, maybe it'll clear the code. If not, it's fucked. Anyway, so I wired an external relay now instead of hijacking the factory ones. I got this fuse right here, 50 amper, going over that relay and then through the relay, solder down to that plug underneath there. This is a new fan from last year. I think the switch should bring it on, yep. I put that switch in there in case she has any issues with my electronic circuit. Um, that will, uh, that's just grounding the relay. Relay gets positive from this fuse here anytime that the key is on. So key is on, powers the circuit, powers 12 volts to that relay. And then when the AC comes on or the temperature goes up, my little microprocessor in here will grounds the relay basically to power it, close its contacts, which sends this 12 volts to the 50 amp to the fan. But then this switch also just grounds the relay too. Just bypasses my microprocessor. If it were to fail, I told her, hey, if it's getting hot or whatever, just come out here and flip the switch up. The fan will go on anytime the key is on at that point. I'll keep her from overheating. Yeah. Kind of tickety. It's a piece of junk. Some of it might be this shit. Oh, well, so that's pretty much how it sits now. I just need to put the cover back on. I have it. I know I have it notched. Hopefully it'll go back on. Here we go. So, <laughs> kept my microprocessor in there. I thought I was going to cannibalize that out and just, but nah, actually it's still working. So, we're going to keep using that. We'll let this run a few days. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it'll clear the code. Maybe not. And if it doesn't, well, change this uh, relay fuse box. Because it was weird. When she had this before we did anything, I would touch on things and the fan would come on and it wouldn't. Weird. So I know that's kind of messed up, but then it kind of had some hiccups. Hopefully it didn't screw up her PCM, but that needs to be replaced if this doesn't take care of it. If not, PCM. Life of owning a Chevy. <laughs>